I went down a YouTube rabbit hole when I went searching to see where they were going to bury Lisa Marie. And one thing led to another, and I was trying to find any photos or video of Elvis's tomb before they moved him and his mom to Graceland. Like, did the marble wall ever have his name on it, since now it's claimed? And who owns it now? Is it going to remain empty, or is it not really empty, and it's just unmarked? His family has a history of unmarked graves, so it's not far-fetched, right? And I've seen the Jesse Garen Presley, Elvis's twin brother that died at birth, grave videos before, and how no one really knows if or where he's buried at Priceville Memorial Gardens. Seems like everyone assumes it's next to Noah, because there's an open space. But I activated my Columbo-like research skills and found out more info. I even posted my findings on one of the videos that had been uploaded on YouTube a few years ago to share with them what I found, but they deleted my comment, to which I now say, okay, F you, I'll make my own video about it, jerk. This book has the Lee County, Mississippi Cemetery records from 1820 to 1979, compiled by members of the Northeast Mississippi Historical Society. On one of the pages, it lists Oma, Susan, Noah, Virginia, and then the next grave would be the Snipes, Luther, and Viola. No relation to the Presleys, but just showing how the graves in the book go in order of the plots in the cemetery. The records clearly state Virginia is buried between Noah and the Snipes. No record of Jesse. So Noah was Elvis's great uncle. Noah's brother, Jesse Dunning Presley, was Elvis's paternal grandfather and father to Vernon. Oma Sedera was Noah's daughter, and Susan was Noah's first wife. So who is Virginia? At first, nothing with Schufner was popping up for me. And then I thought usually old records like this have misspellings or they spell things out phonetically. And luckily this was typed and not handwritten because sometimes it makes it harder to figure out penmanship. So what I found was one of Noah's sons, Goble, married Flora L.V. Thrasher, and they had three children, Raymond, Valeria, Virginia, and Darrell. And Valeria married Johnny Eugene Schufner. So this makes Virginia Presley Schufner the granddaughter of Noah. Why she's in an unmarked grave or how she died, I didn't look further into. But my hypothesis is Jesse is not very next to Noah. It's Virginia. In 1935, when Jesse was stillborn, there were only two people in the family that would have had graves nearby where they lived. One is Elvis's maternal grandfather, Bob Smith, Gladys's father, who died in 1931. But apparently he is in an unmarked grave about 30 miles east of Tupelo in Tremont. His maternal grandmother died about four months after he was stillborn also unmarked in the cemetery in Tremont. It's possible Jesse could be there. But out of the four spaces in the Priceville Cemetery in Tupelo, the only grave at the time would have been Oma Sidera, who died in 1932. As I said, she's the daughter of Noah and the sister of Goebel, Virginia's dad. It wouldn't make sense to bury Jesse all the way at the end, so if he's there, it probably would have been where Susan's grave is since she died next in 1939. And as you can see, her headstone is sinking, which could be a result of soil settling from where maybe they buried Jesse undocumented, especially if he really was buried in a shoebox. I bet if they ever reset her headstone to get it back to grade, they might discover something. And someone should really mark Virginia's grave to deter anyone else from putting another false grave marker for Jesse. And honestly, so much time has passed that no one is ever going to truly know where he really is. But rest in peace to all the Presleys, but especially to Valeria, Virginia, and her unmarked grave.